Hi, you guys. It's Tina. Uh, this is jewelry that uh, all the jewelry I could find from watching the video of the one that was really dark that you guys couldn't see very good. So I'm going to do it over. I don't have any new jars, but I do have those uh, that jewelry from the videos that I deleted because I didn't have a microphone then. So I have a, a pretty big box of jewelry that I'm going to be showing. And uh, I'll probably... It'll probably be like the first time I've seen these pieces because I forget. <laughs> I'll remember the really unique pieces, I'm sure. This here is a roadster wheel. It goes in the middle of a, a wheel on a car. People buy these in sets of two or four. This was broken in half. I got it to go back together, but it's probably not going to stay together. It has the Josie on the front. And May 20th, 10, right here. It's a very pretty bracelet. It's not gold. I tested it. Brass or something. Oh, this one's a pretty one. This is uh, glass beads. This would make a really pretty bracelet, too. If we just put the bracelet piece right there. Because this would look really pretty on as a bracelet. <laughs> like that. They would make a nice bracelet, but it's also a nice choker. It needs a clasp. There's no clasp here. But that is very pretty. All glass beads. Ooh. I forgot about these. This is nice. It's stuck on here somehow. Oh. There's a wire sticking out of that bead. These are crystal. I always say glass. I mean, it is glass, but it's real crystal in like a light purple and a clear. It's very pretty. So sparkly. That's a bracelet. I have three butterflies. Uh, this one is clear purple and we have green here. And uh, somebody wanted these. I have to look back at my comments to see who it was. But yeah, I got them. I still have them. And on the back, they're like this. I think you can hang a chain through here or put it on a belt, a skinny belt. I'm not sure what exactly it's for, but they're pretty. You can use them in a craft. But she wanted those. Here's a nice pierced earring. I don't know if I have the other one. We'll see if it's in the bag. But it's pretty. Look how big it is. <laughs> I thought that would be a clip-on for sure. And when I did the video the first time, I thought this was really cool. This detail that they put here of this, you know, odd-shaped wood. And then I realized, no, it's not. There's two strands missing of this. Because I had a lot of these beads in the jar. I don't know where those went to, but these are like, uh, they're cold. So they're stone, ceramic or something. But there were three strands. But I still think it looks cool like this. It's different, you know, having that. Until somebody sees the holes and they're like, oh, you're missing two strands. If they would say that. I don't know. <laughs> Necklace is over here. Here's another stretchy bracelet. <laughs> I always worry about stretching them. I really love this bead here. And this one. These are all plastic. But it's a beautiful bracelet. Put that with that bracelet. Oh, here's another bracelet. Oh, there's some kind of wire sticking up right here. Gotta cut that off, but... Yeah, someone made this. It's kind of bent. They shouldn't use wire. It's got a lobster clasp on it. I'll probably take this apart. Just harvest it for the beads. It's too pokey. This one, too, because this is just too stiff. I'll take this one apart, too. This is a choker, I think. It's pretty. Pretty color beads and everything. These ones are glass. So I'll take them, those off. These are nice. Look at these purple beads right here. Aren't those pretty? They have some blue in them. And they're like turquoise, pink, and purple. Very pretty. Someone will like those. Is this the match? No, this can't be the match because this is a clip-on. The other one was pierced. This is another earring clip-on. I think I like this one better than this one. The style of it. 
Sorry, my neighbors are doing some work. Yeah, this one's prettier to me. Okay. These feel like other pearl. Here's the clasp. Oh, it goes this way. Oh. Okay, yeah, this one was kind of unwound. But if it were together, it would be a beautiful necklace. But it's, for some reason, the pearls came out. So I don't know how to fix that. Maybe if I untwist it and twist it back up. But it's got a lot of pretty pieces in here. It's got the silver chain, the pearls, another smaller silver chain, and two black chains. Yeah. Or gunmetal. I have a flower. A little plastic, I mean paper. Material flower. Oh, I remember these. Okay. See, these I remember. That's probably what it's going to be like. I have two of them. I have brown, and I have blue. Oh. Blue tones. They're the same exact necklace. But one is brown, and one is blue, pink, and green. Here, I'll show one at a time. This one's the blue one. With the pink and the purple and green. And then this one is the earth tone one. Which is mainly just browns. I kind of like the brown one better. But if you want something colorful, this one's perfect. This is dyed shell and chain and some metal beads. They're very pretty. I remember those when I picked it up. See, that's probably what it's going to be like when I show you the other jewelry. Now this one, I can't, I'm not going to sell because the dolphins are in bad shape. And I, I like the beads myself. So, actually dyed shell. This is a... Well, it's actually glass. It's a glass bead. Looks like a tight shell. Then these are all glass beads here. But it has these cute little dolphins that are discolored, but they make the shape of a heart. And the chain's just in really bad shape, so that's going to stay with me. This one is so cool. I really like this one. Look at the beads on this. These are wood. All painted. They each have one of these things in between with the charm on it. There's an anchor. Uh... What is that? Oh, a heart with an arrow through it. Butterfly. High heel shoe. I don't know what these have in common, but there's another heart. This one is a heart with an arrow again. One's missing. Then there's a heart with an arrow. A star. And another anchor. Oh, the anchor. We're back at the anchor. Oh, I missed the dolphin. There's a dolphin there. Next to the anchor. But I love the beads. The beads are gorgeous. With the black on them. That's a nice stretchy bracelet. This here is just a random piece of uh, rhinestone. There was a few of them in there. I don't know if I have all of them. This one has a clasp hook to it. And this is really pretty dangle part. But there was like three or four of these. I don't, I don't know if they're all inside this jar. But we'll see. I was just put them away for crafts. And I had to dig them out for the video. This came off of, oh, this bracelet, which was whole in the other video, but this is horse, it has a stretch bracelet, all of these, which are discolored too, but each one of them had a little horse charm, which I'm trying to grab a hold of with my nails here, little horse charm, right under it, hooked onto it, somehow, or in between, something like that, they were on this too, so they were together like that. It was a very cute bracelet, but it broke. You know how my luck with stretchy bracelets is? <laughs> I have very bad luck with stretch bracelets. Oh, some glue over there. Looks like a ring. This is a sparkly ring, but see the beads keep turning around. It's a stretch ring. Yeah, see right there? They're just all messed up. So, this is going to go to craft, too. It's a cute idea. It just didn't work. Now, this chain, I mean, these coins, I have, this is uh, the front of the coin. And then there's a ship on the back. But this came with this piece and a couple of these extra pieces here. And then I got the same exact coin on here with the chain. So, I'm not sure if it's supposed to go together or... And this, this one has a hook on it. Because I couldn't find any jewelry like this. 
I found some jewelry with these coins, but it, nothing resembled these pieces, so I'm not sure. Maybe it was a belt. Maybe it did a row of coins, and I don't know. Went on as a belt or something. I'm not sure. So that's a, a puzzle. A puzzle, yeah, a puzzle. This one I think is really pretty. It's uh, got plastic beads, brown. I just love the color. And there's some crackling inside. And then you have some chain hanging down here. It's supposed to be, yeah, like that. Like a waterfall chain. It's a nice size. Needs some cleaning. But it's a pretty necklace. <laughs> yeah, this one is a choker. Which would also make a nice bracelet too. Because it has these really big rhinestones on it. I think it would make a good bracelet. Don't you think? And you have some, just put a clasp on it and you're all done. But I think this is very pretty. Rhinestones, has chain, and I think there's a, yeah, there's a lobster clasp. But I'm pretty sure it's a choker. Oh, this is a necklace too that goes over here. Okay. I had two white ones and a red chain. I think I only grabbed one of each to show you in this video. Because repeats, you know. But they're not hooked together. There's a red one and a red and black. And white and black. And I think I have two of these and three of the red. I can't wait till I can start listing. I think I like listing. I mean, I tried to start, but I need a bank account number and stuff on Etsy. So these are really, oh, and they're lightweight. They're not really metal, but they don't feel plastic because they are cold. So maybe it's a light, light metal. You know, like tin or something. This one is a pretty bracelet. Stretch. It has all of its stones except for this one right here. But it has this really cute flower right here. And it's a stretchy crystal bracelet. Rainbow colors. I'm going to try to find a stone that would fit in there. If I can sell it. I don't even know if I'm going to sell it. This is an abalone earring. Can you see that? I hope it's not, the video's not dark again. It looks kind of dark to me, but I got sunglasses on. Here's the match to the pierced earring. So I have both of those. I've been organizing my stuff. I got my earrings all put together. You know, that way when somebody asks for something, hopefully I can find it. This is a glass stretch necklace, which I don't like stretch necklaces at all. But I like these beads. So I'll probably harvest that too. Or turn it into a real bracelet. Or a real necklace. You know. Restring it and then put a clasp on it. This is a beautiful rosary. It's got glass crystal. I mean crystal beads. Here's the crucifix. Then it has this metal here. And these are um, crystal beads. Pink. With an Aurora Borealis wash over them. It's such a pretty one. I've seen a lot of rosaries. And I like this one a lot. It's very nice. Let's see this one. Oh, this is an earring. I have... Oh, wait, where's the other earring that's like this? I was going to do something with these. Well, let me wait till I get the other one. Okay. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, we have this macrame on here. String. You can pull the tight knit, and it has a little tiki mask. It's ceramic. It's cute. <laughs> I like that one. I like that necklace. Oops. I grabbed onto the earring. Let's put the earrings over more. This one is a plastic beaded necklace. And I love these beads. The clear ones with the black on the inside, and these really big ones that are odd shaped, because that's really odd shaped. But it's a very nice necklace. Pretty long, about 20 inches. <clears throat> oh, this one was broken when I first got it, but I fixed it since that video. So it's in one piece now. It's tangled, but it's in one piece. It's a, like a mini statement necklace. It's on cord. Which I've never seen before. Oh, there's a tag. 
Oh, it's a Liz Claiborne. This is the Liz Claiborne necklace. It was just disconnected right here. And I just put it back together. That's all I did. That's the only fix I did. But that's pretty. I didn't realize it was Liz Claiborne. Yeah, I don't think it's missing any. They kind of look like opals to me. When, especially those little ones right there, when you move it. I don't know if it's showing on the camera. It looks like an opal. But I'm not sure. It's my birthstone and I don't even know what it looks like. Up close. These, I have no idea what stones they are, but they are stones. I like this mustard yellow one here. And the dark red ones. They're very pretty. I just don't know what it is. And they're just on wire. It might have been a necklace that broke or could be a nice bracelet. They're chips. I just don't know from what. We have this these earrings. This is a pair. I like when they mirror image each other. You know, the elephants are facing each other. And not identical earrings, you know. What I'm talking about. But these are nice. These are clip-on. There's the back here. So you can see the back and the front. Very pretty earrings with the elephant. You can see the elephant, right? And I have that pair. This is a broken... It's got liquid silver and turquoise... And some shell here. Uh, Susan, I think, wanted this one. Or somebody does. I have to look back at the comments. She wanted it, even though it's broken. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to charge anybody. This is a thick chain. I like this chain. I like the... It's a rope chain, and it's really thick. It just needs a clasp over here. I think it had been longer originally. Or maybe not. I guess that's about 17 inches. Yeah. So that would fit around your neck. It just needs a clasp put on. Oh, I love this link. Uh, I have bracelets like this, but this is a necklace. I call it the brick link because it looks like bricks. The way they lay bricks and stuff. This is very pretty. It's got a fold-over clasp. It's in fair condition, not great. It needs washed. Uh, there's no signature. I mean, it is losing color, I guess. I didn't even see that till now. And yeah, maybe I can't sell it. Because you can see silver on it. I'll have to look at it better after I clean it. Okay, here's the earrings. I have one of each of these. A green one and a brown one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct them. I'm going to intermix the green with these beads so that they match and then I'm going to do the same thing with the shells I'm going to have some brown shells and green shells brown shells and green shells that way I can make these a pair because they're not a pair so I plan on doing that with those I guess I should put them over here not with the regular earrings we have a toggle clasp charm bracelet here toggle go in <laughs> there it is if this is in really good shape Good condition, I mean. It's got... It looks good. Oh, here's an earring. I don't know if I have both of these. But it's missing stones anyway, so... But it's a cute earring. If it had been a hole, it would be a nice one. Oh. This is a brooch. It's a key brooch. I think there might have been some pearls in there, maybe. I'm not sure, because I can't find it online. There's no name. No signature. This one is my favorite one out of the jar. This is the one in the video I said has a little glass fish as a marker. But, um, let me get it flipped around here. It's, I like the weaving they did here with the chain and the stones. These are all stones or... Wait, maybe they're not. They're cold. They're not cold enough. I think they're plastic. But it's a beautiful necklace. Can you see it? Okay. I just love this necklace. Oops. I think it would look good on anybody. Oh, here's the match to that other earring. And another piece of the rhinestone piece. Maybe that can go on it. I put it over there, I think. Now this, I looked up. I cannot figure out what went into this little bracket. It's got little places where it can hold something. But I couldn't find anything. It's from Decree. D-E-C-R-E-E. -E. 
they sell mainly watches, necklace watches. They have this really cute one that the robot wearing uh, headphones, but it's way smaller than this, so that's not what was in the in here. Some more of the broken bracelet. This is just a plastic redstone on a chain. At least it's not broken. <laughs> I have a lot of broken pieces. <clears throat> this one is uh, navy blue statement necklace. It's very pretty. It's a mini statement necklace again. It's not, you know, pow in your face type of statement necklace, but it is pretty. And it is a statement necklace. This one is pow in your face because it's so big. <laughs> blue flower. This one really needs cleaning too. Blue flower, uh, necklace these are cute I've never seen beads like this before but this is how it goes like this and then see these beads they have like little marble design on them and they're really bright colors I mean hot pink neon green stuff like that and they are cold so there are some kind of stone that's been painted or ceramic I guess they could be ceramic and they're on this copper chain Oh, here, see, here's another piece of that uh, coin one. <coughs> More broken bracelet. I mean, necklace. No bracelet, it was a bracelet. This one I love, too. I love the color of this one. It's like a, a burnt orange color or a dark grapefruit. It's very pretty. I like the noise. Here's the back. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. They're mesh, and then these are hung on the mesh. And it has this one has a box chain on top. Very pretty. Pretty colors, too. I already said that. This, I'm not sure what it is. It just has two lobster clasps where I'm holding. I guess you can put a chain and wear it in as a necklace. This one is twisted wrong. I think it goes like that. Oh, well. Fix it later. But those are pretty stones. And, uh, yeah, you can hang it on anything. Maybe even wear it as a brace. I think it would look better as a necklace, though. Maybe you're supposed to clip it to your sweater, uh, you know, like each lobster clasp going into part of the sweater, like a sweater clip. I don't know. Guess it depends on the owner of it, <laughs> what they want to wear it as. I think this one's all here. Oops, it's kind of tangled up though. It's like an asymmetrical anyway. It's got gold bars that stop because they have a stopper there some black chain down there and then more gold bars here on this level and it's got black chain and gold up there it's very pretty it's a black and gold piece it's very nice Let's see if i can lay it out for you guys <laughs> yeah there you go you can see it i'm not sure if that's where all the bars go but that's where they are right now. Let's put the bag down here so it doesn't blow away. This one, I have a smaller one of this in, that I got a long time ago. That's purple and white. The same big giant plastic stones. But this one is seafoam green and like a soft pink. And it's really, it's long. Let me see the green part. It's about 20 inch, 22 inches, so... It's a pretty big necklace, and these are really big stones. See how big they are in my hand? Yeah. But they're lightweight because they're acrylic or plastic, I'm not sure. Well, this one here has animal, animal <laughs> print on it. It's a New York and Company necklace. It lays out like that, and it has the three layers. Oh, I like these beads here. And these are really cool. They look like wood, but they're not. They have like a wood grain on them. And then you have the leopard. Oh, I thought that was, yeah, it's leopard print. Sort of. But yeah, that's a pretty one too. It's on chain. By New York. This one is very pretty. Very small. <coughs> Hope you guys don't mind about the videos I deleted. I just think it would be harder for you guys to hear me so I'm just gonna do them over and I and Mark said I shouldn't 
I should make sure to tell you guys. This one, I love this one. It's got the little tail thing on it. This really pretty bead here. And it's got these silver bars, which I always love on necklaces. It goes like, up like this. It has a silver bar, silver bar. And then it goes to a Y, where it has that and the dangles. This is a very pretty one. The dangle, about uh, 28 inches at the end of the dangle. So it's very, it's a good size, and it's very pretty. White, I love white, and clear. Those will look good clear. I'll talk about clear, here we go. <laughs> the chain's all tangled up in it. Huh. Okay. This one wasn't missing any rhinestones, so I'm make sure it's still not. Yeah. It's got this really cool twisted chain. Two, or three on each side. You see how twisted that is? And it has a tag that I have no idea who this is. It's got a J. It could be J-Lo, maybe. You guys recognize this tag? I'd appreciate a comment. And it has the three layers on each side. Let me make sure I get it separated here. I gotta go out to clasp, I guess. To make sure I separate it right. Oh, it's in a knot. She was... Okay, well, let's just do it this way. Three and three. <laughs> well, it goes farther than that. It goes down to this knot here. And then you have this beautiful plastic crystal. And there's no rhinestones missing on this or on the piece that's in front here. It's a really nice piece. I mean, it would be better if this was glass, but then it would be a lot more expensive, right? This one, I have two of these. One has a, say, a chain to lengthen it, and the other, this one doesn't. But it has a chain here, see? But it's exactly the same. Dark pink and light pink mixed. It's a very pretty bracelet necklace. It's small, though. So like, I think maybe 16 inches, so it would be like a choker or a collar. And then I have this pink one. Which this and those beads, if you took them all apart, would look really good if you made a really big necklace. <laughs> and a bracelet set. But these are pretty too. I like this color better than that other one, but I like pink. Pink is pink. This is the. No, I have this other piece. Okay. This one I like too. This is like a mini statement too. Oh. Why isn't that. Why is it turned like that? It's supposed to be turned around. There we go. It's a mini statement necklace. And I, if it ever falls apart, that's, these are all numbered. See, one, two, three, four. So you know where to put them. I think they did that for the original people who put it together. But it's very pretty. And you don't have to sit there and put it together. Some are hammered. Some are just flat. Some are textured. It's really pretty. I wish it was silver. But gold's good, too. I just prefer silver over, over gold for me. Here's the last piece, and it has a chain, some rhinestone, a thicker chain, and then this other size chain here. Oh good, the video is almost exactly 30 minutes, so that's perfect. So yeah, I had a lot of pieces I really loved out of here, but I really love this bracelet a lot. Uh, <clears throat> statement necklaces, of course, because I think they're just really pretty. I like this big crystal one. The pink ones, of course. The pink ones. Oh, and this orange one. I love this orange one. But my ultimate favorite is this. Because I just love sparkles and crystals. And these are just gorgeous. But I'm afraid to stretch it because it's going to break. <laughs> but you can see some... It's, you know... Not right. It has to be redone. Because there's too much stretch thing showing. But these are really pretty. And I'm going to try to redo it like that. I just like all of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you come back. And uh, let me know what you think about me redoing my videos. Because well, it's too late for some of them. Actually, it's going to be too late for all of them. Because I put all the jewelry together <laughs> in one box. So I hope you guys don't mind. And, and join me again. Thumbs up, please. 
Bye-bye.